Are they spending your bucks just for the yucks? A group called Citizens Against Government Waste, or CAGWU, <laughs> is out with this year's list of all the weird things Congress is funding with your tax dollars. Like keeping fruit flies under quarantine. We're spending $9 million on that. In fact, since 1991, the year I was born, <laughs> Congress has spent... <laughs> Around 40 million to eradicate fruit flies. But we've still got fruit flies. Which means fruit flies are outsmarting Congress. I'd rather spend that money figuring out what blew this cat's mind. I'm hoping it's not cocaine. <laughs> Tyrus, uh, what would you like to see government money spent on? I'd like to see it spent where it belongs. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a, it's a, you know, we're all laughing about $9 million for fruit flies, and it was like another one was like ridiculous amounts of money for like making sure wild horses stayed in their area. It's called a fence, Briz. Uh, <laughs> we have first responders who can't get medical treatment. Yeah. yeah. We have, we have schools that aren't safe. We have schools that aren't safe. I mean, we have a lot of things that we could be putting into making sure we could be taking care of, uh, like, the homeless situation in California. There's a Absolutely. lot of things that we could be doing with this money, and we laugh and we juggle. But this is why we need term limits. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, you know, we, we've we got to get these guys out of there. And uh, just to add to the, your list, I could use a boat. No. no. Florence? Why? Uh, to, why? <laughs> to cut out the middleman with the toilet, you just be out in the sea. <laughs> you know, it just proves that Congress just doesn't give a F. They do yeah. not care at all. I mean, you got... They don't. They don't, because this is just one example of the many things that they just abuse our money with, you yeah. know? Um, you got the Flint water crisis that they can be... Right. Democrats, where are you on this? Yeah. And the Republicans, you could secure the border with some of this money. You know, yeah. they, they just don't care. And they bicker back and forth, but at the end of the day, they're all the same. No, it's true, because they, they spend money... They spend money on projects that get them re-elected, yeah. Joe. And they want to raise. Yeah, yeah, and then they want voting to raise. But, I, Joe, what if there's something about this fruit fly stuff that we're missing? There has to be something of importance. Like, maybe the fruit flies spread, like, bad fruit. I, I would, I mean, without any context, it could be a good thing to keep fruit flies off our produce. But yes. I'll tell you what, the whole term pork barrel is a, is a misnomer because if the government is spending money on barrels of pork, to me, that is a worthwhile investment. <laughs> because then we can, if there's ever any kind of pork disaster, we've, we got an ace in the hole. We got pork <laughs> for a rainy day of no that's so true. I never thought of it that way. Joe, you've opened my eyes once again. I'll, I'll tell you what, though, Greg. If there's one thing we should spend money on, it's finding a replacement for the person who estimates the cost of things for the government. They're like, oh, we're going to build this train for $100 billion, and now it's half the size for twice the money, and yes. 20 years later... It's yeah, that's the guy that's the least true. competent. Yeah. It's the guy who tells us how much it's going to cost. Joe's smart. We need a pessimist there instead of an optimist. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess this just isn't surprising to me because as I understand it, government is made up of people mm -hmm. and people tend to spend ridiculously when they're just given money and it's right. not their money. Yes. Like, have you ever seen a trust fund kid that's super oh, spoiled? Yeah. <laughs> they buy designer sweaters for their dogs. I know. Like, they buy mansions mm -hmm. and they don't live with any roommates unless you count their giant plastic surgery lips, <laughs> which they all have for some reason. Right. I mean, they're spending money like they're a little rich girl who got it from daddy mm -hmm. and normally i wouldn't care because capitalism whatever live and let live but in this situation i do care because mm -hmm. i'm daddy good. <laughs> yeah. yeah good point all right i want i want my tax money to build a wall yeah. around vermont <laughs> <laughs>